Hi there. Come on in. Mister? Morning, partner. How's it going? I've been better. Too bad. Keep your chin up. See you soon. Don't move on me, boy. Excuse me, sir. Can I can I help you? Yeah. I'm looking yeah. for Mr. Atherton. I'm a friend of Mr. Getty's over at Pronghorn Ranch. Oh, <laughs> yeah, Mr. Atherton is in his office. Hey, please head in. Thank you. Yeah. Can I help you? I hope so. <clears throat> I want a loan, sir. A line of credit so I can buy some property. What property? An old ranch, Beecher's Hope. <laughs> that old dump? I, I know it ain't much, but I ain't much of a farmer either. But I will get there. That is a very unusual way of asking for a loan. Mr. M Marston. Marston. Only folk around here call me Milton. It's kind of a joke, I guess. <laughs> a joke, huh? And which folk? Mr. Geddes. Uh -huh. I work for him. He said that you could help me out. I mean... If you can. So old David Geddes told you I'm the kind of man to loan a man with two names money so he can buy a run-down farm on account of his lack of farming skills, huh? <laughs> Don't sound too promising when you put it like that. <laughs> well, how would you put it? Sorry to waste your time, sir. Oh, sit down. I'm sure we can figure something out. Now, of course, we'll be expecting you to make regular payments, and given a lack of much evidence you got any means of repaying, the terms won't be too great. But if my cousin vouches for you, it'll be okay with the bank. Really? <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. Now, of course, we'll be expecting our money back regular as clockwork until the debt's settled. Otherwise, the farm reverts to the bank, no matter how much you paid. I understand. Mm -hmm. Well, why don't you go check out the land while I fix the contracts and talk to Mr. Geddes. Oh, I heard there's squatters up there. We've been having so many problems recently, they'll need clearing on. Sure. Well, come back when you're done and we'll fix up the paperwork. Marston? I don't believe it! I thought you were dead! 
Pearson, what are you doing here? Ah, <laughs> welcome to my store. How can I help you? <laughs> are you serious? Yeah, beats the old butcher's table, doesn't it? <laughs> so what can I get for you today, sir? How the hell are you? Pretty good. Working on a ranch right now. Really? Wow, good for you. Staying out of trouble then? I wouldn't go that far, but I'm trying. Well, uh, I'm at a loss for words.
so, wander around some more, let me know if it's something else you need. Forget something? Need anything else? Thank you. Hello there. Hey, friend. Will you get? Just leave me alone. Well, that's just fine, then. All right. I ain't got the heart to push this any further. Can I get five minutes without a fan badgering me? Hey. Ah, oh, ah. God. Hello, chum. Chum? Do you want an autograph or a photograph? I'm sorry? People often get nervous, but there's really no need to. I I'm just a, just a normal guy who, well, happens to be very famous. Uh, who are you? Jeremy Gill. Who? The famous fisherman. I've written a lot of books. I'm in the newspaper all the time. Here's one from the New Hanover Gazette from a few years back. And this is a book I wrote. Huh? I wrote it. Good for you. You really don't know who I am? I... Oh, well. Nice to meet you. You too. Yeah. John. Sure you don't want a photo? Not right now. You know, mothers, they often offer me their daughters. Just for a photograph? <laughs> no! To marry. But I say no. I'm married to the fish. So you're you're famous for fishing? Very. And that pays well? Uh, pretty well. What I mostly do is send fans stuffed fish. Stuffed fish? Yeah. Here, let me show you. Come with me. <laughs> you're selling these? Yes. How many do you want? If you get three, we could do a photograph. Together, like actual friends. No, I'm fine. It's sort of ridiculous. Listen, jump. People love it. And I could sell even more fish if I add them. <laughs> it helps them to know that out there, there's some man fighting with Neptune on a daily basis and winning. Okay. But I can't catch enough of them. And there's really good money in this. I fish a little. You do? Well, in that case... Send them to me. Uh, of course, uh, not if they're too rotten. Do you like that bass? I'd sell this for $50. I'd give you 15 Send your fish. Ooh, my card and a map. Maybe I shall. <laughs> Only the decent ones. They have to be at least 24 inches in length and 10 pounds in weight. No one wants to imagine Jeremy Gill catching a tiddler. There's no money in tiddlers. So I hear. Problem? No, there's no problem. Quite the contrary. Well, there is a problem. For me, but not for you. <laughs> All right. I don't have time for this. No, well, no, wait! Give me a minute of your life. I might just change it forever. I'm sure you will have heard of me. Maximo Cristobal Valdespino, the renowned explorer. No, can't say I have. There has been much written about me. I once had high tea with the Viceroy of India. I helped liberate South America. I've climbed mountains and swum across seas. 
I have had many women. I've spent the last three months hunting treasure on the American frontier. Beautiful country reminds me a lot of Almeria. But tomorrow I set sail for the island of Shikoku in the Japanese archipelago in search of the legendary Tokushima Sapphire. Hmm. Okay. Good for you. Uh, no, no, hold on. You see this map here? It was made by the Jack Hall gang. They robbed banks all the way from here to California. I know who the Jack Hall gang are. Oh, them you have heard of. But me? Huh. Well, uh, rumor has it they buried gold somewhere in this area, but were killed before they could retrieve it. They created two maps to ensure it was well hidden. This is the first and should lead you to the second. You just need to follow the landmarks drawn here. Me? Yes. Unfortunately, I am out of time now, but I am prepared to sell it to you for the low price of ten dollars. A trifling investment for a man such as you, given the potential returns. Oh, uh, what the hell? <laughs> Why not? A very wise investment. I wish you the best of luck. Here we go, boy. Okay, boy. Hey, fella. Don't hate me for being different. Keep to your damn self. Were you expecting me to do this good? All right, my boy.
Slow now. Don't move on me, boy. Hey, fellas, this way. Easy, boy. Stay. Now stay put. Stay put now. Can I help you, friend? I hope so. Who's in charge here? No one, mister. This is a free country. <laughs> now that I ain't so sure about. Listen, I'm buying this land. I'm afraid... I'm afraid you guys are gonna have to go somewhere else. Who's this? I ain't sure. Some fancy damn city boy says he owns this land. Or he's gonna. Owns it? That's what he says. Okay. And how come we live in here? I ain't sure. Get the hell out of here! This land belongs to me now! Ain't nothing on this earth belongs to no one, partner. Looks like you made your decision then, partner! <laughs> you the man with two names and no past come on in how'd you make out well let's just say there are no more squatters okay well i got your paperwork ready now you sure about buying this place it's really run down and the price isn't too great i think it would mean a lot for my wife at least mean i was listening to her okay well sign here and here Now we own you, Mr. Marston, and we own Mr. Milton, too, and we own your property. But you can buy your freedom each week. Eventually, you will be a homeowner. I understand. Congratulations. You are now a real American, indebted and owned by the bank. <laughs> I'm choking. They own me. They just own your property. Now, you can also use this line of credit for any home improvements you need to make, of course. I can? Sure. Be good, Mr. Marston. Welcome to home ownership. It's a beautiful thing. Let your wife know what to complain about. I'm <laughs> just joking. Well, it is you. Well, I never. I, I thought you was dead, boy. Dead. Uncle? The very same. Come here. <laughs> I saw you going into the bank, and by the looks of things, you ain't robbed it. I've gone straight. Oh, bull crap. No, for real. <laughs> well, I'm trying. All these years, you ain't changed a bit. Maybe a little bit. I thought you was dead. <laughs> not yet. Well, I got some things to take care no, of. No, not a problem. I'll come too. <laughs> no, you don't have to. Oh, I'm real sick, John. Lumbago. It's a slow and painful death, my brother. Evidently. Oh, have a little pity, will you? Huh? Come on, then. All right. <laughs> uh. 
I'm ready, Marston. Come on. You ready, boy? Follow me. seem interesting it makes you seem stupid I don't care how I see well, now where West are we have hey, you damn grunt and fool this ranch I a ranch I bought just now is that what you were doing in the bank Spending all your money? Oh, I want a ranch in the armpit of West Elizabeth. Oh, my lord. <laughs> Not that that's any of your concern, but I was in the bank borrowing the money. Well, that's even worse. Yeah, you can run from a bounty, John. You can't run from a bank. Is Abigail there? No. She's, uh, her and Jack are waiting until I'm set up before joining me out here. You mean she left you? Oh, I never thought she was a smart woman, but, you know, this makes me think maybe I was wrong. Stop calling attention to her. Maybe I was wrong. <laughs> no more of that. I just bought this place, and you're lucky I'm showing it to you and not looking for a place to bury you out here. Right here, fella. Stay. Okay. What do you think? Why exactly did you buy this dump? For Abigail? Why? Is she an idiot? No. What were you thinking? I don't know. She said she wanted it. She ever seen it? What are we gonna farm here? <laughs> Rocks? We? You don't have a hope here without a wise hand at the till. Enough of that. Get out of here. On your way. No, you're stuck with me. Seems I'm stuck with you. John, the rock farmer. <laughs> so, you think I'm an idiot? No. <laughs> I know you're an idiot. Show him, boy. Oh. 
Hello. Why the day, isn't it? Sure. What a country. I'm working on a project. Photography. Yeah, I guess that bit. <laughs> of course. Wildlife. That's my thing. Or well, that's what I want to be my thing. If I have to take another picture of a grumpy house frau or pompous middle class burger, I will feed myself to the lions. Stand here. Huh? Here? Just. There. Albert Mason. John Marston. Pleasure. I'm trying to find and capture images of our great predators before our greatest predators kill them all and stick them on some clubhouse wall. Well, good luck with that. Yes, not the easiest. But, well, I love a challenge. The trick is to leave a big load of meat and relax and pray they don't mistake me for lunch. <laughs> oh, good heavens. My bag, that thing is robbing me. Go, oh, good heavens. Don't worry. That thing is a coyote. Snaky one, too. Wildlife photographer. Drop the bag. Leave the meat, mister. Leave it! Coyote, don't think about coming back. This way. Hey, come on. Hey, come here. Well, well. Got your bag. Oh, good, good. Please come here. Stay here, boy. Stay put now. Thank you, thank you, sir. A bag full of meat will tend to bring out the worst in the local population. <laughs> you are a gentleman. The bag also had a lot of my supplies. You've saved me days. I can't thank you enough. I'm, I'm, thank you. Don't worry about it. Uh, you take care, sir. I ain't the one trying to get myself eaten. As I realize I am a fool. <laughs> Forgive me. And thank you very much once again. Want some, huh? Who else? Sure, I'll shoot you. I wouldn't mind some practice. Well, let's get to it then. Driving at night, windowless ride, feeling alive Nothing in sight, forever in flight Follow those lines, we'll make it this time Blurry street lights, work as a guide To memories that we're making tonight